Everybody's running and the world gets so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rings. Better hurry up, just got some things. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, then go down. Go to the mall, not a fun piece of rock. On TV, drink that fuck the drug freeze. That's what we like to do. Come on, y'all, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, I'm living for the weekend. I'm living for the weekend. The doctor will be with you in just a sec, okay? Thanks. And if you need anything, you're gonna ask for your old pal Nurse Lou, right? Huh? Huh? Yes, sir, Lou. Mr. Nurse? Sir? Hey, check me out. Is this the start of a great weekend or what? Okay, the story behind this is really complicated. So it's not complicated. He went skating without his wrist guards, he fell, he hurt himself. Simple. Okay, look, they weren't in my backpack, or on the dining room table, or on top of the fridge. Which is interesting, because today as I was rushing to the aid and comfort of my only child, I tripped over his wrist guards in the driveway. Well, there you go. That explains, uh... A lot about the stuff that needs explaining. Oh, look, the doctor. Hi there. Tonatini, I presume. I'm Dr. Presto. That's me, Tonit. Dr. Presto. Congratulations, Tino. You are the proud owner of a sprained wrist. Dr. Presto? Good news, bad news. The bad news is you'll have to wear this splint for a while. The good news is I am not only a fully qualified doctor, I'm also a semi-professional magician. Huh? Tino, sometimes things can seem perfectly safe and ordinary. But if we don't exercise caution, we can find ourselves in a world of danger. Ah, bravo! Presto, actually. <laughs> I also do birthday parties. Remind me to stop having birthdays. I heard Dr. Presto made Chloe Montez disappear. And when she came back, her allergies were gone. That's nothing. My ear doctor draws you one of those big head portraits after every exam. My dad's podiatrist can play the harmonica with his nose. Dr. Presto said things that seem safe are really life-threatening disasters in disguise. Did she really say that? Practically. I mean, who knew you could hurt yourself skating? Everybody? Yeah, we don't wear helmets just because they look cool. But it's just skating. We do it all the time. Like uh, eating ice cream. What if you fell asleep and landed face down in it? You could drown. Drowning in ice cream. Now that's the way to go. Or what if you're just sitting here and you catch some strange jungle virus like in that one movie? The one about those people who caught that strange jungle virus? Yeah, except those people were all bitten by radioactive jungle monkeys. The point is, you have to be on guard at all times. So, you're not going to have any ice cream because you think you might drown in it? Right. And also because Carver took it all. Okay, school project? Or are you just redecorating? There's nothing funny about taking precautions. Well, in this case, there is. Hey, maybe you should go out and get some nice fresh air. Sure, the great outdoors, where I could get crushed by falling buildings, eaten alive by killer fleas, or washed into the sea by a 90-foot wave. Yeah, way to parent, Mom. Sweetie, don't you think you're getting a little carried away? You were the one who was on my case about wearing wrist guards. Which would be reasonable caution, but this is ridiculous. I see nothing ridiculous about it. Well, I'm late to meet the guys. So, yeah. Please stay out of the living room until I've finished my inspection. Somebody needs a hobby. Hey, guys. Okay. You might want to give contact lenses a try. Or therapy. Just ready to enjoy the weekend. I mean, as best as one can under these treacherous circumstances. Who needs sunscreen? Already wearing it. Me too. Got some. Putty. Waterproof? Sweatproof? Lightning proof? Oh yeah, has an SPF of 182. The commercial says it stops more UV rays than three feet of lead. Can you sit down in that stuff? Ugh, wouldn't want to anyway. That dirt is covered in dirt. Or could you please not do that? Not do what? Incite the pigeon to violence. You're afraid a pigeon is going to attack Laura? Well, hopefully it won't come to that. But if it does, I have netting, a flashlight that can double as a club, snake bite kit, shark repellent. You know, you're obsessive. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just being careful. Do you have a compass in there? Yes, sir. -y. Maybe you could use it to find your way back to reality. Hey, wait.
place is showtime for Curse of the Snapping Turtles. Well, we've got two hours till the trailer start, so about three hours till the movie. I hope no turtles were actually cursed during the making of the film. Dude, what are you doing? Looking for machine parts. You know, nozzles, springs, nuts, bolts. You have to check for these things. No, you don't. Okay, just because you fell... Because I was reckless. Just because you had an accident. Because I sneezed in the face of safety. Okay, just... Ew. Are we lucky or what? Best seats in the house, right next to the exit. I'm moving. Floor, we can't move. Tino's accident has triggered a hyper-awareness of his environment, resulting in a stage two paranoia, and we have to help him. Why aren't we moving? Tino's trigger has hyper-activated his environmentalism, and we have to get him to stage two. Got it. So, Tino, are you ready for some safe 3D fun? Almost. T, those aren't 3D glasses. I know. They're sunglasses. They go under the 3D glasses. You don't expect me to let the rays from the movie screen touch my bare eyes, do you? Of course not. That would be crazy. Pass the nachos. Whoa, there, cowgirl. I don't want my good friend to get a cheese sauce burn. How about some nice room temperature popcorn? None for me there, princess. You know the old saying, where there's popcorn, there's a black larynx. Not so advertising. Right, I'm leaving. But the movie hasn't even started. Look at those flimsy crossbeams. One little tornado and that roof is coming down. You know, this cheese sauce is kind of hot. It could burn like a hole through the floor to the sewers where the killer rats live. I can't stop thinking about my bare eyes. They're so bare. If a tornado did hit this building, it would close a chapter in historic movie house architecture forever. Great! Now I'm too scared to sit through a scary movie! Thanks to Tino. It's like this paranoia of his is contagious! We have to help him! Right. But first, does anyone have something to cover my bare eyes? With you in a minute! Is he still, you know, woo 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 Carver, Tino's not crazy! He sanded off the edges of my wheat flakes this morning so I wouldn't cut my tongue. Eh. Uh. Come on in! He's all yours. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry to make you wait, but I'm meteor-proofing my room. Bolt computer to desk, check. Bolt desk to floor, check. Now, what do I bolt the floor to? Tino, we need to talk to you. Absolutely, but you gotta put these on first. Look, T, we think you need to maybe get out a little. Try to have a little fun. We were gonna go to the beach. Which means there's going to be water and sand and burning hot sun. Hey, I'm fine with that. Really? Sure, just let me get ready. I'll meet you downstairs in a few minutes. Yeah, ready for fun in the sun. Thanks. <laughs> Up and at him, kids. Let's go. What time is it? I check my watch, but I can't bend my arms. It's five o'clock. Dude, by the time we get to the beach, it'll be nothing but couples holding hands and watching the sunset. That sounds like a very safe activity. Come on, guys. Let's just go to Funville. Okay. I guess. Um, give me a minute. I have to put on some rubberized shoes in case of electric shock. Forget it, T. Yeah, we're not waiting for you anymore. When you figure out that the world's not trying to kill you, come find us. Huh? Oh, but guys, come on. No, guys, you can't just... Oh, 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 oh. Um, little help here. Hey, here's a thought. If you're worried about risks, what about the risk that this obsession with safety will take over your life? Okay, yeah, I guess I went a little too far. So you're gonna help me up or what? I just have to get some pictures first. This paranoia phase is so cute. You guys, we weren't being mean. We were just helping Tino see that there were, you know, consequences to his obsession. We know. But I still feel kind of lousy about it. Well, please don't. You're here! Tino! Hey! Oh, thanks for helping me out, guys. I'm sorry I wasted your whole day. Aw, uh, it wasn't the whole day. Just the best part. <laughs> so, do you need a fourth? Are you sure you want to play? You could get splinters from the cue stick <laughs> or choke on the chalk dust. Or fall through a hole in the floor down to where the killer rats live. <laughs> I guess those are just the risks I'll have to take. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's good to be careful. But if you worry about everything, you totally won't have a life. Right? Oh, sorry! Maybe I should have worn just a little padding. Later days. I'm living for the weekend. I'm living for the weekend. Hey! This is BBQ.
Cahill. Look at her. So sad. So friendless. It's just like this novel I'm reading, The Poor Little Orphan Girl. In the book, kindly aristocrats befriend an orphan girl who is socially beneath them and raise her up to their level. I haven't told the guys yet, but we're gonna do the same thing with Bibi. Yay, it will be the noblest of noble deeds. I am so stoked about this movie. Jimmy Peng in The Dog Has Two Faces. You have stolen my father's dog. You must pay. No, the dog belongs to the whole village. What? <laughs> Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your humorous Jimmy Pang routine, but we have a noble deed to perform. We're gonna help poor friendless Bibi Cahill. How do you know she's friendless? No one who dresses like that could possibly have friends. It's a crying shame. Too bad we can't do anything about it. But we can. We can be her friends. Mm, I guess what I meant was, too bad we don't want to do anything about it. One pizza hot off the rack. <gasps> there she is. We must help this poor girl who is beneath us on the social totem pole. Beneath us? She's on a whole other pole. I'm so glad you agree. I'll be right back. I didn't agree. Did I agree? Hello, BB. Hi. My friends and I were thinking, maybe you'd like to see the dog has two faces with us tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, it's not easy making friends, is it? We have to help each other. Yeah, I guess. Great! We'll see you at the theater tomorrow. Tish, did you have to invite her to the movie? Oh, come on! Just think of it as a social experiment. If I want a social experiment, I'll buy an ant farm. This is gonna be great! I hear it's even better than the shark has two fins. <laughs> Hi, Bibi. My, what a fine chapeau. Well, I'm here. What now? <laughs> We're gonna see this movie. Oh, no, it's that kicking guy. I thought it was gonna be talking dogs. The only good movies are movies with talking animals. You guys see the one where the talking cat becomes a ballerina? It was completely boss. Well, <laughs> talking animal movies do have merit. Does... Do you know how gross you are? I can completely see all your nose hairs. You have insulted my family and my dog. Now, you must pay. <laughs> this is so stupid. That dog can't even talk. You know what would be good? If the dog became a ballerina. Don't worry. We'll come see it again tomorrow. Don't bet on it. Sorry, hon. Theater rules. Taggers are banned for two weeks. Six ball in the side pocket. Are you gonna play pool all day long? Um, hi, this is our first game. Oh, 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 there's a little muffins game. That's completely boss. What time of day is it? It's muffin time. Muffin, 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 muffin time. Oh my gosh, little muffins day at the mall is about to start. I can't believe we almost missed it. We can get you some little muffin shoes. Once you've got on, rub ugly. What? Did you say? Your shoes are completely ugly. My shoes ugly. Yeah, are you stupid? My shoes ugly. Excuse us. What good are shoes without cute animals on them? A question that has baffled scientists for decades. Hang in there, Carver. We're helping the unfortunate. She's gonna be a lot more unfortunate if I get my hands on her, which is why I'm out of here. But it's a noble deed. How can you be so selfish? Excuse me? I'm selfish because I don't want to hang with someone I don't like and who doesn't like me. Sorry, uh-uh. Gone now. You gotta go. Me too. Bye. Uh, but, 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 but we're gonna hang out some more. Don't you want to be friends? Mm, all right. I guess you guys can come to Lil Muffin's Day. Just don't embarrass me. Is it me, or did it sound like she's doing us a favor? It's the crazy backwards universe where up is down and boy bands play instruments. Zabette is sassy in her Little Muffins quilted overalls with accompanying paw shoes in a daring brown. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it! Ooh, <laughs> math class goes by faster than this. 20th century went by faster than this.
BB, do you ever read books that aren't about the Lil Muffins? There are books that aren't about the Lil Muffins? Like Shakespeare? Oh, yeah, I heard of him. Did you know all his plays were written by a talking cow? <laughs> Nuh uh! Yeah, huh? I completely saw it in a movie. <laughs> it's muffin time! Muffin <laughs> Can we meet you tomorrow, baby? Why? So you can talk about that stupid Shakespeare guy some more? We want to spend time with you because you are special to us. <laughs> right, guys? Oh, yes. So very special. Okay. But we're not playing pool all day again. <sighs> Doesn't doing a noble deed feel good? Oh, yes. So very good. Carver, you gotta come with us tomorrow. She's totally mean to us. Over. Hang on. Let me check my list of things that are never gonna happen. Oh, there it is. Over. Well, thanks a lot for ditching your friends. Over. The way I look at it, you guys are ditching me. And for someone you don't even like. Over. Fine, forget it. Tino out. Hello. How come we don't use the phone like normal people? Walkie-talkies are cooler. That's a big 10-4, good buddy. Hey, what's wrong? Usually pancakes are magical treats that make all problems disappear. Usually pancakes don't contain asparagus? Okay, is this about BB? Hi, could you at least knock before you enter my mind? Tino, I know you think you're helping BB, but did you guys even ask her if she wants your help? Well, of course she does. She's beneath us. Y you know, so socially. You're acting like you're better than her just because she's... A creepy cute freak? Different. And you know that's wrong. You don't understand, Mom. We're sacrificing our happiness for the good of a poor unfortunate. Uh-huh. And why do you ask her advice when you don't want to listen? It takes my mind off the pancakes. I'll get you another knife. All right, guys. Yesterday, we laid the friendship foundation. Today, we build the house. Can we lock her up in the basement? Tino, we are doing a noble deed. Yeah, we must be. Or we wouldn't feel so miserable. <gasps> Isn't that sweet? Our new friend bought us chugga freezes. It's just like the part in the poor little orphan girl where Florizel buys Lord Abercrombie a scone. Baby, thank you so much. These aren't for you. Are you stupid? No. In fact, I happen to have a laminated copy of a recent IQ test. Hey, I know you guys are desperate for friends. We're... What? You said it's not easy making friends and we have to help each other out. I meant... So, I helped you guys out yesterday. But now I have to hang with my real friends. Luke and Francis. Gosh, Bibi, it sure was nice of you to help these poor unfortunates. One, two, three. It's muffin time. Muffin time. Muffin time. Muffin time. Did that just happen? Dude, we're charity cases. Ditched for Luke and Francis. Horrible. <laughs> Except it didn't happen to me, so it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You guys, I'm sorry I got you into this. I guess now we know not to assume we're better than someone. Yeah, and not to force help on someone who doesn't want it. And not to eat gravel. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we already knew that one. Uh, Carve, you gotta promise never to tell anyone about that Bluke and Francis thing. Don't worry, no one will ever know. And I know you won't say anything, right? <laughs> Later days. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for the Student Film Festival. It's muffin time. Muffa, 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 muffin time. Muffa, muffa, muffa. Muffin time.